there. Uh, just say it to pick up. Um, so let's press F and that's going to go into that last state. So now we can organize uh, the thing. So let's, let's now say this. Now let's say um, move object. So we want to move object. We want to move the object picked, the picked object to the destination. The destination is the put object here. Uh, let's say one second, linear, and then that picked object, we want to, we want to, let's come to this picked ob object, let's, let's just grab a cube first, rigid body, set property, uh, All right, so let's uh, press play. You'll probably see that it's um, <laughs> um that it it kind of didn't really do much because it uh, we need to jump back to object handler. Uh, move object. Um, I think actually we might make this zero. I'm not sure if this is actually the infinite uh, method of doing it. Let's have a look. Yeah, so then not. Okay, what we need to do is let's say iTween and then move update. I'm pretty sure is the, the method. And let's say we want to move object pick to the transform position of our put object here, our time zero space itself. Don't worry about looking at it. Let's have a look. All right, so you can see it's it's um <laughs> it's interacting with our one, so it's actually hitting that on the edge, uh, which is not what we want. Um, but what we do. What we want to do is actually deactivate the um, kinematic, the kinematic uh, rigid body. Okay, so I just did some thinking, and the ultimate way um, to actually handle this is to kind of do it a reverse way, so that way we can actually individually turn off the is kinematic. So let's copy this component, the object handle that we created from our player, and let's go to our cube and paste this in. So basically, we are still doing the same thing. We're saying we're, we're finding the closest, but instead of um, using pickable, let's actually create the player tag on our player, and let's go back to this cube and change it. We want it to look for a player, and we want to store it. And basically, we're we're doing all the same stuff um, that we are before. So let's um, all that should be fine. Okay, so let's just copy this guy from our cube, paste this in to each of these cubes, so that way you can actually control which objects you want to be picked. Um, let's just turn off this object handler on our player for the time being. And let's close that. So we've got our cube. Let's just give this a little run through. That should actually be the quick fix, and I'll show you um, why this is much better. All right, so see, it's still working the same way. Um, that the the reverse is actually still stuck on player, on um, pickable. So let's just quickly uh, fix that up. Let's turn off lock, so that way I can actually go between them. Uh, player and player. Now, this one, once we press the button, we want to actually set um, the property and the property we want to set is we just need to drag in our rigid body physics set is kinematic and we want to check that 
and then we can just copy and paste this into all of our other ones. So let's just paste this in. Oh, let me just take this out. Thank you. And paste this. All right. So now what's going to happen, hopefully, is um, when we press pick pick up, uh, it's gone very. Let's just uh, pause it and see what's <laughs> what's happened. Where's our player? All right, so we've kind of gone flying, um, probably, but that's because our um, rigid body is probably still selected. I think that's what the the issue is. So let's um, come back down. So when we pick up our object, what we want to do is also set uh, is kinematic. Let's paste this for a specific object. We want to set is kinematic for. I think that's the cube, yep, that's the cube. So let's come back here for the cube. Or we could actually even um, one step further, let's just um, lock, lock this, drag the cube in, um, and then just say, where's the enabled physics? Where are we? animated game object they've really moved everything around with, um, with this where is enable <laughs> script wait was that no network no 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 input no GUI game object create find count get 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 no blink debug audio Okay, that <laughs> that was easy. So we want to set active. We don't want it to be active. Um, let's try that. I think that should fix it. But let me just also, one more thing. Let me just move uh, the put object here in front. Yeah. I'm scared. Oh, yep, yep, we broke it. We broke it. Okay, so let me just check what's happening. So we're... Uh, oh, actually, well, what we're doing is we're picking the object that um, we want to just change this to use owner. That makes more sense. <laughs> we were putting the player on itself, um, technically. So that's a bit silly. So let's um, let's fix that up, eh? Let's change this. Oh, let's turn off lock. That's why it's not changing. Let's change this to use owner and use owner. Wonderful. Okay. Theoretically, this should work fine. A. Hey. Although we picked up all of the objects, <laughs> um, which is not not ideal. <laughs> so we'll need to to figure out a way. Um, to fix that up, but as you can see, it, it's um it's working quite nicely. So we'll sort that out in this next part. <laughs> okay, I just did some more thinking. <laughs> You're not going to like me, but I think we should put this object handler back on our. Well, we can just turn it back on on our um, player. Reason is, so let me just show you, um, so we can. All understand it so this way it's individually selected rather than every single object saying hey we're gonna attach yourself to the the object so we're all kind of learning at the same time here um, <laughs> the object handler what we're gonna do is actually just grab uh, let me, is that still on let's grab this and say set is kinematic we're gonna grab that and set property let's copy this and then we're just gonna chuck this in on our last state but the the, the specific thing we're going to change is specify game object object pick so this is going to set the object picked to kinematic which is the problem we were having so let, well, let me just double check this is all turned off so we can even just remove this guy remove um, so that way it's a lot more of a universal system because I, I was thinking that definitely has to be a way just having another player and yes yes there is 
So um, here we are. Excellent.